Hey guys, what's going on? John here for a Magic the Gathering video. And in today's video, we'll be going over a mono red wizard burn deck I made for modern. So keep in mind, this deck was made almost solely out of cards I own. And I don't own a lot of the classic burn cards, so you'll see a lot of pieces that may be missing that you may think should be inside the deck, and I, I do understand that, however, I can't help that. I'm not gonna spend the insane amount of money it takes to buy a normal burn deck to get, like, four copies of Lightning Strike, or Lightning Bolt, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I also don't have full play sets of some cards. But uh, yeah, let's start by showing you the miscellaneous cards. So these are some cards that are helpful, but they don't fall in any one category that I've organized here. So we're going to start with our singular copy of Skin Invasion. It's an enchantment aura for one enchant creature. Enchanted creature attacks each combat fable, and when it dies, return Skin Invasion to the battlefield, transformed under your control and it becomes a 3-4 Insect Horror. Next we have two copies of Double Cast. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy, and it is for two mana. I also have two copies of Sure Strike, if my camera will focus. Target creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. It's an instant for one and a red. Browbeat is a sorcery for two and a red. I have three copies of this. Any player may have Browbeat deal five damage to him or her. If no one does, target player draws three cards. And so, yeah, I've got three copies of that. Now, getting into our creatures. We have four copies of Gitu Lava Runner. It's a human wizard for one red. As long as there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, Gitu Lava Runner gets plus one, plus zero, and has haste. So I have four copies of that. I also have three copies of Gutter Snipe. Cost two and a red, and it is a goblin shaman. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, gutter snipe deals two damage to each opponent. Then we have a singular copy of Runaway Steamkin. It's an elemental for one and a red. Whenever you cast a red spell, if Runaway Steamkin has fewer than three plus one plus one counters on it, put a plus one plus one counter on Runaway Steamkin. And if you remove three plus one plus one counters from it, you add three red mana. And then finally, I have a full play set of Gichu Journey Mage. It is a human wizard for two and a red, and when it enters the battlefield, if you control another wizard, it deals two damage to each opponent. And yep, full play set of that. So next, we have direct damage. Yeah, there's a lot of this. Uh, three copies of Wizard's Lightning. It costs two and a red. It's an instant. Deals three damage to any target, but costs two less to cast if you control a wizard. So I've got three of those. I have a full, full play set of Shock. It costs one red. Deals two damage to target creature or player. And I have a single copy of Fight with Fire. It costs two and a red. It has a kicker for five and a red, and it's a sorcery. It deals 5 damage to target creature, and if it was kicked, it deals to 10 damage. Divide it as you choose among any number of targets instead. Heat Ray costs 1 red and X. It's an instant, deals X damage to target creature. And I have a full play set of Lava Coil, deals 4 damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. It costs 1 and a red. Next. I will show you our sole planeswalker of the deck. It is Chandra Pyromaster. It costs two and two red, and this glare is awful. It's plus one is it deals one damage to target player and one damage to one uh, to 
Up to one target creature that player controls, that creature can't block this turn. Zero ability, exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn, and minus seven, exile the top ten cards of your library. Choose an instant or sorcery card. Exile this way and copy it three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana costs. Finally, before getting into our mana base, actually, I will start with that. It's 20 mountains. We're running mana red. You don't really need much else. I mean, I'm sure there's some good mono red lands. However, unneeded. So, for mass damage, we have two copies of Cosmotronic Wave. It costs three and a red. It's a sorcery deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control, and those creatures can't block this turn. Two copies of Boiling Earth. One damage to each creature your opponent's control. It's also got Awaken four, four, six, and a red. And then two copies of that. And finally, two copies of Chandra's Fury. It costs four and a red. It's an instant that deals four damage to target player, one damage to each creature that player controls. And that will wrap up today's deck tech. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. It would make my day. I have recently been frustrated with a bit of lack of support. So I would love some support on this channel because I have been trying at it for a couple of years. So um, if you guys could take the time out of your day to help me out, then that would be great. Um, Thanks, and I will see you later.